Today, we are going to discuss the use of light for eczema, wound healing, and optimizing skin health. Phototherapy represents a valid second-line intervention in those cases where non-pharmacological and topical measures have failed. It's frequently used today as a treatment for dermatological diseases such as psoriasis, acne, and atopic dermatitis, as well as for sleep disorders and some psychiatric illnesses. For over a century, reputable scientific research has emphasized the importance of light therapy. One of the pioneers of light therapy was Niels Finsen, a Danish physician who won the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1903 for his work on the use of light in the treatment of skin diseases, particularly lupus vulgaris. At around the same time, in the early 1920s, sea air was observed to be beneficial for atopic dermatitis, with several patients reporting significant improvement of the disease during the summer months. In 1978, Morrison and colleagues released a study that established phototherapy as a key component in the treatment of AD. The report demonstrated that oral sorolin and UV light could effectively treat AD that was resistant to other treatments. Since the 1970s, a number of types of lamps have been developed with varying UV emission spectra, each set to a specific light wavelength. Many of these therapies are now used in high-quality hospitals, clinics, and homes around the world. How light therapy works for eczema Recent developments in photobiology and molecular immunology suggest that the effectiveness of phototherapy involves multiple factors. First, UV radiation targets inflammatory cells on the skin, inducing positive immunosuppressive effects by altering cytokine production, inducing apoptosis of infiltrating T-cells, and reducing Langerhans cells. UVB therapy also helps to promote the production of vitamin D, which has been found to improve skin health in people with eczema. Finally, skin colonization by Staphylococcus aureus may be prevented or reduced by the antibacterial effect of UV radiation. Which UV light therapy is best for eczema? Think of light as electromagnetic energy. You must understand the physics of light, and that light has many different wavelengths. Anytime we have light in our environment, it is called white light. It contains all of these wavelengths, including those that we cannot see. Light waves of different wavelengths can penetrate tissues at different depths due to the characteristics of their movement. The two types of UV light used in light therapy are UVB and UVA. Different types of therapy include narrowband UVB, broadband UVB, UVA and UVB, UVA1, UVA plus sorolin, narrowband. UVB light therapy is a specific type of UVB therapy that uses a narrowband wavelength of light, typically around 311 nanometers. It is considered to be one of the most effective forms of phototherapy for treating eczema. The other phototherapy treatments are UVA1 and PUVA, where UVA radiation is combined with a chemical called sorolin that increases the effect of UVA on the skin. UVA light therapy is less commonly used for eczema, but it can be effective. In North America, UVA-1 availability is limited, perhaps due to the relatively high equipment costs. Introduction of narrowband UVB and UVA-1 has resulted in less use of UVAB and broadband UVB. According to studies, narrowband UVB is more effective than either broadband UVA or UVA-1 for managing chronic atopic dermatitis. Numerous studies have shown that phototherapy can have long-term benefits. How narrowband UVB light therapy is administered? During a narrowband UVB light therapy session, the affected areas of skin are exposed to the light for a specific amount of time. You will be asked to remove any clothes that cover the skin being treated. Areas that don't need treatment should be covered and protected as much as possible. Some safety steps include special glasses to protect your eyes from UV light. Your phototherapy sessions will vary in length. This will depend on your skin type and the dose chosen by your doctor. The first treatment usually lasts very short, even a few seconds. Typically, with each subsequent session, the dose is increased by extending the exposure time. Treatments rarely last more than a few minutes. Generally, sessions are scheduled two to three times per week. How effective is ultraviolet light therapy for eczema? Light therapy has enormous therapeutic potential for patients whose daily personal and social life is dramatically affected by eczema. 
Numerous studies have shown that narrowband UVB is an effective treatment for atopic dermatitis and that phototherapy can have long-term benefits. A study involving 21 adults with severe atopic dermatitis showed that narrowband UVB phototherapy, given three times a week for 12 weeks, led to a 68% reduction in severity scores of atopic dermatitis. Even after six months, 15 patients continued to experience long-term benefits. How long does it take to see results from phototherapy for eczema? The length of time it takes to see results from phototherapy can vary, depending on your eczema severity and skin phototype. You may see improvement after just a few sessions, while others may require several weeks of treatment. According to one study, atopic dermatitis activity was significantly reduced in all patients after three weeks of exposure to a cumulative dose of 9 joules per square centimeter narrowband UVB which was applied over a mean of 19 irradiations. I personally had 20 treatments prescribed by the doctor. The first results began to appear no earlier than after the 10th exposure. I noticed a significant improvement after 15 sessions. What is the cost of phototherapy for eczema? The cost of clinical phototherapy can vary depending on a number of factors, including the duration and frequency of treatment, the type of light therapy used, and the geographic location of the clinic. On average, a single session of phototherapy can cost around $50. You can typically get a discounted rate by buying a bundle of 10 or 20 therapy sessions. Many health insurance plans will cover the cost of phototherapy for eczema. It's important to check with your insurance provider to determine what is covered under your plan. Can you do light therapy at home for eczema? Light therapy for eczema can also be done at home using specialized devices. When looking for a UV lamp for home use, Pay attention to the markings. Choose a narrowband UVB lamp, which can be identified by specific symbols. One of the main benefits of doing light therapy at home is convenience. It allows you to receive treatment on your own schedule. However, there are also some potential drawbacks to consider. At-home light therapy devices may not be as powerful as those used in a clinical setting, and you may not receive the same level of supervision and support. If you have eczema that affects several body parts or extensive lesions, I suggest seeking treatment at a facility that utilizes larger devices capable of irradiating the entire body. It will be more effective, and you can expect to see faster improvement in your skin condition. Is tanning bed good for eczema? Some people visit tanning salons as an alternative to natural sunlight. Tanning beds in commercial salons emit mostly UVA light, not UVB. The beneficial effect for eczema is attributed primarily to UVB light. Is phototherapy better than sunlight for eczema? There is evidence that artificial light sources perform better than natural sunlight. Although these rays are also present in natural sunlight, UVB treatment is usually more effective than sunlight because harmful and ineffective sunlight rays are filtered out. In this way, we also seek to minimize the risk of burning episodes. Phototherapy can be customized to the individual's needs and administered in a safe and controlled environment. Is light therapy safe for eczema? Overall, light therapy is generally considered safe when administered by a qualified healthcare professional or used according to the manufacturer's instructions for at-home devices. It's effective treatment option for eczema, especially for those who don't respond well to other treatments. Light therapy is also beneficial, as it doesn't involve the use of steroids, which can have negative side effects when used long-term. The induction of skin tumors after long-term PUVA, that is above 200 treatments, is undoubted, whereas the role of UVB phototherapy in human skin carcinogenesis is less clear. In a murin study, the tumor outgrowth was enhanced by broadband UVB, but not by narrowband UVB or UVA1. Is phototherapy safe for children? Phototherapy is a safe and effective treatment method for pediatric patients. It is used especially with children affected with psoriasis and atopic dermatitis. According to data from the literature, narrowband UVB is especially recommended for children. I personally tried phototherapy and achieved great outcomes. You can get a lot of relief from severe eczema, even though it might not completely cure the underlying cause of your condition. It's worth looking for a nearby medical center that has a professional UVB 311 nanometers lamp, as this will produce quick results. If you want to cure your eczema permanently, you need to eliminate the root cause. Now click the link in the description below and check out Eczema Secrets.
the latest book that will help you find the trigger and heal your skin for good.